Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for another Dragon Ball Xenoverse series update for potential news. Some big stuff that actually got revealed yesterday by the homie Cabby. Uh, definitely go check him out down below. Um, it'll be at SSJ Cabby on Twitter, and his YouTube channel uh, will also be in the link if you guys want to check him out. Please do. He's another uh, super awesome creator in the Xenoverse community and everything. He's a good friend, and he also does a lot of Genshin Impact stuff too. So if you guys like that, you can definitely go check him out. And also, a big shout outs to uh, Burkhall for initially finding all of this Xenoverse 3 sort of stuff. Uh, you know, he was on top of it, and there was a big update that actually occurred yesterday. Uh, I don't know exactly what time, but had to have been a little bit later in the day, and it was something that uh, a lot of us were kind of waiting for ever since the first initial, uh, not leak, but findings of it from Burkhall, uh, which was a super cool thing. So uh, let's go ahead and just first off, we're just going to go to my old video. I mean, not super old, but like the, the last video that we uh, were you know, doing over this, like the first initial thing. So, the uh, day that it was created, that this Xenoverse 3 domain website, which we're talking about today, uh, this was created on, uh, I guess, 12-9-2014. I believe it was the same day as Xenoverse 2. Both of those domains were probably purchased and reserved at that time. Now, it expires on the 9th of 2020 which is in about seven days from today, which is the second. Okay, so that was a little bit worrisome. You know, we weren't too, like, I guess, uh, crazy about it. We were just kind of like, oh, you know, it's it's getting kind of close to this because I posted this on uh, November 9th. So this was about a this was about a month ago. So, uh, you know, a month goes by and uh, we didn't really see anything on it because it was updated, uh, I guess, three days. Yeah, it was updated three days before I actually made this video. So it was definitely a very recent update to it. So uh, we just had, you know, that little bit of news with the website. There was nothing really that significant. It was just mainly that it was, you know, reserved and it was updated pretty recently at, uh, at that time last month. So now, if we go to the Xenoverse 3 domain once again, look at this. This is the, the most, I don't want to say exciting. Don't get too excited because this doesn't confirm anything. This really doesn't confirm jack shit at all for a Xenoverse 3 game or a website being like officially, you know, created or anything. Uh, I mean, this is a created website. It's real. Like, there's nothing fake about it, but there's nothing on it right now. Uh, if you go on the website itself, it just says that it was registered. That's it by the uh, Gandhi.net or whatever. Gandhi, shout out to my boy. So uh, it was registered on, or sorry, updated yesterday. Yesterday on the the first of December and it looks like it is it's expiring on the 9th of December next year so the same exact day if I'm not mistaken from uh, last time but they extended it by a full 12 months a full you know extension of one year same thing with xenoverse2.com okay so if I go to xenoverse2.com as you can see Dragon Ball Z or just xenoverse2 you could do Dragon Ball Xenoverse2 both of them have the same uh, you know domain and everything uh, all from Bandai Namco Europe. It's by the France uh, registrant country. So that's that. That is something that I'm a little bit confused about. Why it's just like France, but I, it's because of the Xenoverse, just the Xenoverse name itself. So uh, this one was updated. Like I said, it was updated at the same time uh, as the last one. I think a couple days uh, later or whatever. So this is all still pretty recent and current. So it finally, uh, you know, updated to be ex expiring, have an expiration on the same exact day, which is 12-09-2021. Uh, so December 9th, 2021, same exact day for the Xenoverse 3. So both of them are now pretty much connected in terms of what they're going for. So it's it's definitely the same uh, registrants, you know, and everything, the same countries it's all that you know gandhi or whatever but the thing that's uh different is that the uh registrant organization for the actual xenoverse 2 website and the xenoverse website is bandai namco entertainment europe now they are not stating who it is yet it's just the gandhi corporate which i mean obviously they have to put some type of organization set on there so that's all we know right now is that it's 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 gandhi but it, it retains the same exact information. Like you could go back and forth with information, IP location, ASN, 
domain status and everything. Like, everything is exactly the same. It's even saying that it's registered and it's active. That, I mean, obviously it is active because it was updated yesterday. So, they are definitely doing something with this site. Now, let me just say this. It might not even be Xenoverse 3. They probably just bought the domain and if they decide that they want to create a Xenoverse 3, you know, they, they have this website here. I think the Play, PlayStation did that with like the PlayStation 5. You know, other other companies do that so that because they're just planning ahead in the future. So if they have the opportunity, okay, this is what the like, you know, this is what we want to register for our line of video games or series, a series of things. You know, they're going to initially get that first registrant and then they're like, "Hey, we're probably going to make sequels or, you know, upcoming titles related to the same series or things related to the series so we might as well plan ahead and we can always change the name afterwards so yeah this, they can definitely do that this could turn into something completely different it's most likely going to be related to dragon ball probably i don't know but as you guys know dragon ball games they usually come out you know every single year a new video game comes out every single year uh you know this year early in january we had kakarot uh, you know, the year before that, we had Dragon Super Dragon Ball Heroes for Switch. The year before that, we had uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, every single year, there's there's usually something new. And there might be a skip of, like, a year in between. But there's always some type of Dragon Ball support. Like, 2017, I think, was pretty dead in terms of a new Dragon Ball game. But Dragon Ball Universe 2 on Nintendo Switch came out. So, there is, like I said, there's always something that is releasing regarding the Dragon Ball series. And even if it's not that, they have the Gashas as well as DLCs. DLCs are huge now, and those can, you know, cover for pretty much, you know, the video game itself for a series that is still getting support. And Xenoverse 2 seems to be done with support. That's just my opinion. I could definitely be wrong. They could just say, fuck it, let's do another update. But what I'm thinking is this, and this is what I want to show you guys. So if we go to uh, Fly Through Time, this is just a little, a little like, you know, silly thing that I was just thinking about. Uh, this is something I put out on Twitter yesterday. Flythroughtime.com was the initial website for the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 uh, reveal. This is what they had initially, and basically what it was, was it was just a teaser, and then they ended up doing the official re reveal a couple days later. And this was all in the beginning of May. So, if we actually go to uh, the creation date, it was on tw it was 2016 on uh, 509, okay? It was updated this year. It was still updated this year, which is a little bit weird, which um, uh, I don't know why, why they would need to update this website. There's no reason to have this website anymore. There's no reason, really, because they have a Xenoverse 2 website now. So, it's like, that's weird, but this was uh, in April, okay? And, I, I, you know, I looked at this last time as well. So, you look at that, and you're like, okay, why was it updated this year? For what reason? And I think it's because they were extending the expiration date. That's what I'm assuming. I really don't know. And it's been extended to the same date, 509, so May 9th of 2021. Now, just imagine this. Okay, so this doesn't confirm anything. This is just my head cannon going off and being excited about it. Because this seems very reasonable, okay? Even with what's going on with COVID and anything... There's been a good amount of time. They probably have different members from different teams on Dragon Ball Xenoverse. They might even have a different team working on Xenoverse 3 if they're actually making it. Let's just hypothetically say that. They actually do a similar reveal, and they use the same domain, Fly Through Time, okay? They could rename it. They could definitely rename it so that people don't know it's Xenoverse. Or they could just keep it the same because they know that people have been, you know, wanting a Xenoverse 3 for the longest goddamn time since like 2017 or whatever since the last you know four dlc packs came out so just imagine may of next year they do a teaser saying that xenoverse 3 is in development maybe they show a trailer i don't know i don't know i'm going to assume that e3 will not happen again uh you know th next year like similar like you know this year i'm going to assume it's going to be all online stuff some people are saying Jump Festa might be a thing. I doubt it. I don't think I saw anything regarding the Dragon Ball games other than probably Dragon Ball Heroes, maybe Legends, maybe Dokkan. Kakarot, I don't even think had anything. I could definitely be wrong, but Xenoverse and Fighters had no news. Now they could still do it. it they just didn't sh share that it was scheduled. 
So I doubt that Jump Festa would show anything, which is, you know, going to be at the end of this year, which it will be an online event. So I don't know. I really don't know yet. Um, none of this, again, is confirming shit, <laughs> okay? So I don't want people to get too excited about it. But um, this is definitely a, a big step in terms of what this could mean. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll try to keep you guys updated. You know, and if I can't update you guys, uh, definitely, like I said, Burkhole as well as Cabby. They seem to be both on this uh, Xenoverse 3 sort of, I guess, hype. <laughs> or I, I don't even know if it's news, I guess. Or uh, more of inspection and detective work in a way. It's it's a lot of fun just being able to uh, you know every now and then check check up on this website and see what's going on. But you guys, let me know what you think about this down below. Um, it was just a really important update. But I don't know, man. Just thinking about a a teaser next year. Ew, man. It makes it gives me the biggest Dragon Ball Xenoverse boner of all time. Like I swear to God. All right, I'm out. That's gonna do it. Uh, this update was huge in terms of it being on yesterday that's crazy let's let's see how, let's see what this website potentially can turn into all right guys leave a like subscribe ring my notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one peace